Okay. Here is a laboratory scale tablet compression machine, compressing approximately three to ten tablets per minute. This output is inadequate for a commercial production. A commercial tablet machine products produces anywhere between one thousand to five thousand tablets per minute. But can you transfer the same formulation of a lab scale compression machine to a commercial tablet processing machine? Now let us think of another situation. Mixing taking place in a laboratory beaker. Transforming the same operation into a commercial batch size involves lots of aspect buildings including heat and mass transfer calculations. These processes are scale dependent. That is they behave differently in a small scale and on a large scale. Production processes include heterogeneous chemical reactions and most unit operations. Understandably, the pharmaceutical technologists and chemical engineers have always wanted to find out ways of simulating these processes in model to gain insights that will assist them in designing new industrial plants. Occasionally, they are faced with the same problem for another reason: an industrial facility already exists but will not function properly, if at all, and on. and suitable measurements have to be carried out to discover the cause of difficulties and provide a solution irrespective of what whether the model involved represents a scale up or a scale down certain important questions always apply number 1 how small can a model be is one model sufficient or should tests be carried out in in models of different sizes number 2 when must or when can physical properties differ when must the measurements be carried out on the model with the original system of materials number 3 which rules govern the adaptation of the process parameters in the model measurements to those of the full scale plant number 4 is it possible to achieve complete similarity between the processes in the model and those in the full scale counterpart if not how should one proceed We should remember that the data submitted to the FDA for marketing approval of APA and formulations are based on laboratories or pilot scale products. All clinical trials, bioavailability, and bioequivalent studies are done on pilot scale products. Stability study data are done on pilot scale products. How could the FDA inspectors be sure that the tablets produced in laboratory scale be exactly similar to that of the commercial scale? The answer to all the above questions is a problem solving method called dimensional analysis. This video is part of pharmaceutical engineering video series where we will be discussing about topics which are generally not covered in our class due to time constraint. Hi, my name is Shubhendu and I am the owner of project consultancy firm called Clintex Solution. Dimensional analysis is a powerful tool. I use it in project designing. Pharmaceutical manufacturers use it to design technology transfer and scale up techniques. FDA that is the Food and Drug Administration all over the world uses it to validate the process. Before watching this video you should be familiar with unit analysis and understand the difference between dependent and independent variables. Before we talk about dimensional analysis we need to know what dimension is. dimension and unit are related but different concepts physical quantities are measured in units the dimension of a physical quantity is independent of particular unit chosen for example both gram and kilogram are units and they are units of mass and mass is what we called the dimension There are five different fundamental dimensions that we commonly deal with: length, mass, time, temperature, and charge. All other dimensions are product of these dimensions. In this video, we'll be dealing with length denoted by L, mass by m, and time by t and temperature. For example, how would you measure the physical quantity velocity? It has a dimension v within the square bracket. It is length divided by time. 
that is length multiplied by time to the power of minus 1. The scope of discussing dimension analysis in detail is beyond the scope of this video. In fact, a pharmaceutical technologist should know the basics so that he can pick up the rest when needed. Anyone interested in knowing more can ask me in the comments. I can give you links of good books on this subject. We will finish this video with a simple sum followed by an application area. Example. Check the dimensional consistency of the following empirical equation. S is equal to ut plus half at square. The dimension of S is length in L. U is L into t to the power of minus 1. And t is t. So if we multiply that we will get L. And A is L t to the power of minus 2 multiplied by that with t square will again get L. Hence it is a dimensionally homogeneous equation. Scale up techniques using dimensional analysis is used to scale up processes from lab scale to industrial scale. It is done in all formulation areas and in all API plans. If you have liked this video, please give, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. In the next video, we will be talking about heat transfer with pharmaceutical equipment as an example.